everyone, this is Jail Trader Cooper Buscus, and I am more organized now. I have a new desk, and it is not a complete mess, at least not yet. Um, yep. So, uh, I think I'll iron it back up back there. Okay, cool. I will get new curtains. Just saying, so that light will not bother you much more. That light will not bother you much more. Okay? Good. Uh, so, uh, welcome back to another Let's Watch of Death Uh, today's episode is Lara Croft Raids Death Valley. <clears throat> Sorry, my throat has been clogged up lately. Uh, I have water right here that showed up somehow. Hmm, still good. Okay, so, Lara Croft. Uh, who I've heard is one of the most popular video game characters ever. I don't know how, but... Well, whatever. Although, uh... Number one is obviously Mario. Let's get that out of the way right now. Number one is Mario. I mean, there are so many more video game characters I prefer over Mario. For example, there's rival Sonic. Uh, Solid Snake, all that kind of stuff. And Lara Croft's opponent, Nathan Drake. Um, yeah. Um, so, with nothing to say, let's get into this. Most people spend their entire lives in pursuit of wealth, status, and power. But Lara mm -hmm. Croft was lucky enough to be born into them. However, despite attending the yeah. best schools and living in her own freaking mansion, she was <laughs> missing one crucial thing. I'm adventure! And rich people are always looking for some crazy way to keep themselves entertained. But if you have a lot of money and take a lot of trips, it's good odds that one of those is bound to go wrong. And guess what? I hadn't seen that before. before. she was even old enough to order a drink, a crash landing left her stranded in desolation. She had to learn for herself how to adapt and survive for over a week before returning to civilization as a whole new person. In whichever Tomb Raider timeline you look at, whether it's an island or the Himalayas, Lara's destined to this life-changing fate. I'm never getting on a plane with her. Surprisingly, Lara's experience left oh. her far from traumatized. Instead, she was inspired. Everything in Lara rides is just ends up so crashing. So she struck out on her own, seeking lost treasure across the globe to make a name for herself. But Lara's no fool. So first, she made sure she'd be ready for anything. She tracked down the best teachers she could find to learn her the ways of stealth, survival, and martial arts. She became proficient Where have I heard this in numerous music types before? of firearms, and her martial arts. Oh, this was in uh, the very reminiscent of uh, preview they showed. She could even fight while blindfolded. So she's basically Batman, who treasure hunts with guns. Speaking of which, Lara is famous for her trademark dual Heckler and Kosh pistols. But she's also skilled with shotguns, assault rifles, submachine guns, even grenades. And she uses them to take down everything from armed thugs to T-Rexes. Speaking of which, it's yeah. happy hour at the prehistoric penthouse. Wait, isn't that the strip club you keep trying to take me to? The dinosaur themed one? You know it! Come on, Wiz! Triceratopsis gives out the first lap dance free! Well, that's just absurd. What's absurd is the low prices at happy hour, so I'm going there now. We'll do the thing about the other guy later. Fine, fine. Come back next week as we introduce Lara's treasure hunting opponent, Nathan Drake. Let's do it! In case it wasn't a surprise to you at all, I massively prefer Nathan Drake as a character more than Lara Croft. Um, yeah, in all honesty, there's not really much to Lara, uh, compared, how he's compared to Drake. Compared to Drake, Lara's kind of redundant. I mean, I like Lara, but it's just, you know. Um, yeah, I, I've researched this fight, and I haven't seen that really high res uh um Tomb Raider I mean it's not new Lara. Um although I did like how they said how they brought up that Lara has a bunch of timelines, so that was that was that was pretty cool. Although I think they have done that before. 
Um, should I do that with He-Man, I think. Um, um, so yeah, so Lara Croft versus Nathan Drake, everybody. Can't wait for it. Uh, I'm rooting for Drake. I really want Drake to win. Although, I'm not too sure he can win. Once I'm done recording, I'll, and I think once this video is uploaded, I'll get back to looking over the notes I made, um, to try and pick a winner, and then we'll do the Nate preview, and then, uh, then I'll, uh, then I'll make a prediction video, probably, um, I plan to, um, I might just do it before the Nate preview. Whenever I'm ready, I'll do it. Um, uh, and if I don't do it by Monday, then I won't. <laughs> so if you don't get, if you don't see a, if you don't see a, a prediction video from me uploaded on Monday or Nate vs. Laura, just imagine I don't do one at all. I've already recorded it and edited it and I just procrastinated it and then I'll do it. But you should not expect one if I don't get one up. Um, but yeah, so that was Laura Croft. Tune in next week for Nathan Drake and tune in Saturday, I think, for The One Minute Melee. Piccolo versus Martian Manhunter. This, this matchup is a mistake. Let's let's get this out of the way right now. Piccolo versus Martian Manhunter is a mistake. The, the thing is, it's just a massive, massive stomp for Martian Manhunter. And I kind of want him to win just, be, just because I want to see that uh, happen so they can get an EBZ fight, right? We haven't had that since Trunks vs. Silver, and even then, I didn't want the DBZ kill for the win. So, yeah. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.